In this video, we're going to continue our file system analysis of the PAS2 subject system. And in this video in particular, what we're going to do is we are going to have a look at the timeline. So we're going to go ahead and use the script that we created in order to print a timeline for the system. So I've already created the timeline with the other script. And here I'm going to run my print timeline script and I will pass it the name of my database. And we said that our interesting date was May 3rd, 2015. So that will be my starting point. And I will run this and pass the output to a file. I'll call it ps2-timeline.txt. So I'm going to go ahead and run this query. It's going to ask me for my password to the database. And it will take, as you see, less than two seconds to run, which is pretty impressive if you look at the size of this database. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring this up in gedit just to make it simple. And you'll notice that gedit has to think a little while in order to load a file quite this huge. So let's scroll on down till May the 4th, which is of course Star Wars Day, right? May the 4th be with you. So here we found the last entries for May 3rd. And what do we see here? We see some changes at the end of the day to index three. And this is the Weavly backdoor. We see a few Python modules being called. Now these are probably being called by an earlier call to a Python module. So notice here, there's a call to beautiful soup that was installed, probably as a requirement for this root kit. And if we go back a little further, we see a bunch of Python functions being called because it was most likely needed in order to install Weavely. There's also some other interesting things such as fake root that's being accessed. Let's have a look at files from the document root. So I'm going to go ahead and search on var www html and let's see how many hits we get on this search. So we have over 7,000 hits onto our document root. So let's go ahead and we'll use grep to make our lives a little bit easier here. So if we do a grep and we say I only want things that started with a C for a change in PS2 timeline text and we're going to pipe that to things that also contain var www html slash. And I'll pipe all that to more. This should cut down a lot on our results. So here, once we do that, we can see that we've created some new items here. Nothing terribly interesting other than the index two and index three. So looks like we need to have a little investigation into that directory. It wasn't just index three that was created new, it was index two as well. Now let's have a look and do something similar, but now we're going to look at anything under a bin directory. So we see under bin, we have lots of things that were created. In particular, we see stuff from our Xingxi Quan rootkit. We also see something called PW Inspector. Not certain if that's malicious or not. Hydra definitely is malicious and it was installed at the same time. So that's probably your answer right there as to whether or not that's malicious. We also see a fake root C++ program, both of them being created in user bin and nothing else terribly interesting. In particular, everything else seems to have been from well before when our breach occurred. We can do a similar test for sbin and here once again, nothing too interesting is noted. So we're starting to put together the pieces just a little bit more of what happened and when. So we've been able to narrow it down to the nearest second as to when these breaches started to occur. We certainly have enough evidence to say that there was a breach and we could start thinking about figuring out who 
attacked our system. Well, that's all for this video.